Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Six on the Six Shot Gaming Channel, and I am back with another video for you today. This video is going to be on the Grand Blue Fantasy versus a fighting game that's going to be coming out by Arc Systems Work. Um, and yeah, we have been seeing a lot of stuff on this game, but finally, over the weekend or two days out the weekend, or even actually day, they didn't really give us that much time with the beta. But there was a closed beta. And you had, if you was able to get a, a code, then you was able to play this Cold Beta and play this fabulous, fabulous looking game. This game is like beautiful when it comes to its art style and stuff like that. The animations is very good. The art style is amazing, and so on and so forth. So if you got a beta code, you was able to play this game over a two day span, made more really a one day span, but yeah. And yeah. So we're going to go over my impressions of the game, how I feel about the game, some of the game mechanics, so on and so forth. And right now you're watching a match of me somewhat later on in the um, game, like um, beta span, where I started to understand the game more and so on and so forth. And I'm using Catalina. Catalina is a very good character in this game. Um, but early on, I got footage. I'm gonna show you early on my first couple fights where I was just simply trash and didn't understand nothing about the game at all, and so on and so forth. But with that being said, this is a very, very good game, even though it's an arc system of game, it's very, very different. Um, it's not very combo heavy based like other arc systems games, there's also not a lot of movement like other arc systems games they are um, normally a lot of arc system games are air dashes um this is not the case in this game this game is not an air dasher this is more of a footsies heavy game but it does have some chain combos as well you could do some links as well with some of your moves so it's like a anime version of street fighter basically a lot of characters have moves like um a lot of characters have moves like a fireball then they have a dp and so on and so forth like ron and catalina is like standard shotos um then they also have like four momentum moving moves as well oh yeah this game has a universal overhead kind of like dragon ball fighters that's pretty useful um and yeah so this game is really really good actually um at first when you first pick up the game you're gonna be like, ah, you're gonna be like, damn, I don't know about this. But once you start to understand the game more and understand how you're supposed to play the game, then it ends up being really, really fun. And another thing about the game is that it's also simple. Now, the game is new, and I think I made a mistake with Dragon Ball Fighters as well when I thought the combo structure in the game was so simplified that I don't know how long the game is gonna last and so on and so forth, or how well it was gonna do, not last, but how well it was gonna do in the long run, because the combo structure was so simple and it seemed like everybody had almost the same combo structure, but boy was I wrong with that. But this right here has even less combo structure than Dragon Ball Fighters, So it's kind of like, uh, I don't, I don't know what to think of what's gonna happen with this game, basically, when it comes to, because, it's really really simple when it comes to the combos so i don't know how is that going to translate over but since the game is more footsie based and something like that that's basically probably going to be the meat and potatoes of the game how the gameplay and the footsies and so on and so forth but right now this is me first turn on the beta right and as like any arc systems game you have your lobby system and just like Dragon Ball Fighters or Blaze Blue or whatever Arc System game you played, that's a lobby system. So you go into your lobbies, and then it seems like this lobby system is a little bit more fleshed out. It seems like this lobby system has a lot more rooms you could go into. As you can see, there's so many rooms you go into, and as you can see, the beta was full. Everybody was playing this beta when the beta was out. Like so, yeah. Especially in the, I don't know about all the other plays and uh, all the other lobbies, but New York was full. But yeah, you got your lobby system. So when you first start out, um, you pick a avatar, and they got five avatars you can pick from. Of course, there's gonna be more characters. I think two or three more characters got announced from what we see from here. So I think three more characters in it so far. So a total of eight characters, I think, maybe seven. Not too sure. 
Um, yeah, then from there you pick your character, and you see the artwork on these characters is so beautiful. But yeah, I picked Lance a lot. Then you like on this little boat and on his on his boat or whatever, not a boat, a sky boat or whatever you want to call it, whatever. But from here you have all these arcade machines, and then you got your one player and two player, and you go on, and then if someone jumps on, you just play, boom. So this is my first match. And um, this is literally my first match. So I don't know what the hell is going on in this match at all. I was just like, I don't know how to play the game at all. I don't know what's what. I just know light. I just know the buttons. I know square was light, medium was triangle, circle was heavy, X was a special attack. Um, R1 you could do special moves from. Uh, L2 was an overhead. And R2 was something where you had like a, a, a R2, you had like two defensive functions from R2. You had like a, a spot dodge when you press back in R2. And then you had like a, a, a roll through attack when you press forward in R2. So, as you can see right now, I'm getting murdered because I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to air dash and it's not work happening. I'm like, why well, am I air dashing? Because that's what I learned that this game doesn't have air dashes at all. So I'm like, okay, all right. Um, and then he uses Charlotta, and he's just killing me. Uh, I don't know her moves. And surprisingly, this is the only Charlotta I face in the whole time playing in the beta. So I was like, damn, the only Charlotta I face. Um, the net code is pretty okay. I never had those real laggy, laggy matches. The most delay I probably went up to was three I don't believe I remember to like four or five age like that so yeah um so I think this game has yeah this game has a meter based system when you press like basically like Dragon Ball Fight you know Dragon Ball Fight is when you move forward you gain meter it's the same exact thing in this game when you run forward towards your opponent you gain meter so you get rewarded for being the aggressor in this game and so on and so forth um, so another thing about this game is that the normals doesn't really have none of the normals, at least for the characters I use in this game, has momentum, right? What I mean by that is like you know how in Dragon Ball Fighters, where you press standing medium or crouching medium, normally that move is gonna go forward with his momentum and go towards your opponent. Oh, that was a very beautiful looking super. Boom, that did, did a good amount of damage too, but normally. And I call him. Oh yeah, that's the one thing that right now there's no dash blocking. So if you run towards your opponent and your opponent gets up and does something or whatever or does something, you cannot block. But yeah, back to what I'm saying. So normally when you press a button or like a a, a medium, or like a standing medium or a standing heavy, you would feel like that standing heavy would go like out and towards your opponent and hit your opponent. But at least for the characters that I was using. None of these attacks was carrying my po my opponent forward, so that was kind of weird, and it took me a while to get used to. Cause I'm like, Dragon Ball Fighters is not like this. Guilty Gear is not like this. Uni, it's not like this. Unio, yeah, it's not like this. Waze Blue is not like this. So what the hell? Like, but I guess in this sense, it's kind of more like Street Fighter, cause a lot of characters when you press a stand light and Street Fighter, you don't go forward, you stand it like that. But um. But there are some moves that carry you forward in Street Fighter, so it's his own unique thing, kind of, sort of. And as you can see, I just lost really, really bad right there. Alright. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it took me a while to get used to that, that, okay, I can't just press medium and think I'm going to attack this person that's out ahead of me. If my range doesn't reach that range, it's over. I don't travel forward. So, I get used to that. So... Another thing about this move is that this move had chain combos and it has link combos, I believe, right? A character with link combos, I believe, is like Gron. I heard Gron has link um link combos. And link combos is like something that's like Street Fighter had for the longest time where you have to press you press a move in the animation of the recovery before the opponent can recover if they get hit by the move. And before the opponent can recover. You input the move again, and it's gonna hit them. It's not like Dragon Ball Fighters or any type of game with chain combo. Where you can just press light, medium, heavy. Like, and though in this type of game, you can press medium, medium, 
and it's going to connect if you time it correctly and so on and so forth so some characters that have links but most most of the time the combo system works on chains right so the, it works like this you get three hit chains sometimes four hit chains if you go into the if your opponent has like a fast like sweep button and your sweep button is down in the um, uh, special button or down in X, right? So you have your sweep buttons as well. So a character like Lancelot, I believe, could do light, medium, heavy down and um in a special button and get the sweep. So, but other character sweeps is a little bit too slow, so it won't work. So on and so forth. So, yeah. And or they just or they sweeps doesn't really carry them far enough for them to actually hit. So yeah. So the way it works is you get three chain hits, right? So every attack button has an auto combo, right? You get up to three hits. So if you start off the combo with light, you can do light, light, light into your special, or you can do medium, medium, medium into your special, or heavy, heavy, heavy if it hits into your. Your special now obviously the medium is slower than light and the heavy is slower than the medium so yeah and then when it doesn't really have no forward momentum movement they're going to be like okay damn so you're going to find yourself using lights a lot more but in those punish situations where you could attack with your heavy you're going to want to attack with your medium or heavy because those moves or even footy situations because those moves have better scaling in the beginning of the combo like basically it does more damage than if you start your combo off with a light attack so just keep that in mind so at first glance mid screen wise your combos is going to be pretty simple like i said you're going to have your you're going to do your three chain combo into your special move just like so and in the corner in the corner with certain characters you're going to be able to do a little bit more like catalina has some corner combos that i know of that she's able to get a wall bounce off a EX move and then continue from there. Um, I did, wasn't able to really find anything with Lancelot yet, but I was kind of when I was picked Lancelot, he was the first character I was using, so I was playing kind of basic with him and so on and so forth. So yeah, but like I was saying, you got your chain, you got your your combos like that. You got your chain combos going, and the combo system is like pretty simple and bare bones um <clears throat> but there's also different you got these special moves as well right so you see these meters at top like by your health bar that's recovering <clears throat> that's how you do your special move right so when you do your special move right you're gonna have a cooldown so it kind of reminds you of like a rpg kind of basically where you have cooldown and your special moves when you use them so there's two ways to do your special moves you could do use your special moves by pressing the direction that it tells you up by the HUD in the R1 button and when you use the special moves this way you have a longer cooldown or you can use the special moves by inputting them manually so you have two ways to do special moves you got that way and then you have the manual way by just doing like cross circle forward light or cross circle forward medium or cross circle forward back and have and medium and so on and so forth and when you do cross circle forward or however you, the, the special move you want to do input is in the heavy button you're going to get an EX move. So the heavy button is always for EX moves. So kind of that there's like kind of like Dragon Ball Fighters like. So you can take that mindset from Dragon Ball Fighters and apply it to here for EX moves. And yeah. And then of course the EX moves gives you different properties. Like I said, Catalina has a move where it's core circle forward, light in a medium, and it's like a little thrusting move that's and that gives you a knockdown. Um, but when you're in the corner and you use core circle forward and the heavy button, you get a wall bounce and you're able to get extend combos. So there's stuff like that with every character. And yeah, and then when you do the moves manually instead of doing the simple easy way, you have a faster um cool um cooldown, right? So basically, you're able to kind of basically like spin, spin. If you do it manually, you're able to do basically your fireballs like. Just quickly, like you kind of spam like regular compared to if you do it um with the simple way. So that's always something to remember. Then you have your grabs. I think your grabs is with the L1 button, and these are grabs where you can't combo off of. So remember that this is not like Guilty Gear or Dragon Ball Fighters where you're able to get extra damage off your grabs. At first, I wasn't used to that. I was thinking that you could combo off your grabs, but that's not the case. 
So, like I said, they made it more really street, uh, uh, anime version of Street Fighter, basically. Then you got your special moves, your special moves. You got two different specials. So, your special moves has simple and manual ways you can do these as well. And for you to do one special move, you have to have 100% health. And you just do quarter circle forward and the R1 button to get the simple version of the special move. And when you do these special moves, it takes away from your um it takes basically all your those four special moves at top all of those go away basically and it's a it's a long a long cool down when you do it that way right you don't have access to none of your, your special moves once you do a, a super and when you do it the menu way and i think believe the main way is like core circle forward twice and like light and medium i believe or something like that when you do it that way you have a faster cooldown so that's something something to remember and the way you do the ever super is by having 30 percent health and 100 percent meter and you do half moon back and an all one button and that's for the simple five version of this move and it's going to be a stronger super or you could do um i believe you do quarter circle forward twice and uh um, X button or the special button I believe I'm not I'm not too sure I can't remember exactly which button input you press but I know you the press victory. quarter circle forward twice for the um the ever super so and I believe this will have a faster cooldown as well so that's the difference when it comes to do the simplified versions of the move and the more advanced versions of the move or the manual version of the move so remember that so, like I said, this game is... Oh, another thing about this game, right? A lot of the character ranges is really different, right? Of course, because they have more moves. Like, Catalina obviously has more range than, um... Like, a character than Lancelot, because she has a, a rapier-type sword. What the difference is, is that even though you think you connect on hit on block with certain moves if you're at max range at that move or a good distance away from that move sometimes it will not chain into the order combo so as you see a couple times where i hit with or made the opponent block something and it didn't cancel into my order combo even though i'm mashing the like light button or medium button it doesn't cancel to my order combo because clearly the character is too far away and you just saw that little spot dodge move I just did. That was a little, that was dope. And that's a good example of using the spot dodge, where you know your opponent's gonna attack. You press back and the R2 button, and you're gonna completely dodge out your opponent way, and you can easily counter them exactly like that. If you ever played Dragon Ball Fighters and used Videl, and you did her reflect, and Dra it's kind of more like that. It's a dodge than more of a reflect, and you're it's a very good mechanic if you're able to use it well but yeah moving on going back to what i was talking about with the, the chain combos in this game so the chain combos in the game is pretty weird uh at first when i was using um lancelot if i made my opponent touch anything i was able to like almost anything i was able to always chain into my combo my my chain combos on block or, or even on hit right but I guess that's because Lancelot has shorter range than other characters, so I guess he's more up close on the opponent. But like a character like Gron or Catalina, since they have longer range than the um, Lancelot, I guess if you're at max range with certain normals, you're not going to be able to chain into anything. You're just too far away for your auto combo to chain, so you just got to remember that, right? So like right there is a perfect example. I hit him with my sand light. I, you would think I would go into my auto combo because I kept on pressing buttons after that, but it would not change to my auto combo. So, because I'm too far away. So, you have to just really realize how they're spacing or where you at. And I don't know why I just didn't kill right there, but you have to really realize the spacing where you at for your auto combo to chain into or chain into or not chain into. Like, if you know that you're not, if you're in a spacing where your auto combo won't chain into, it's probably better for you to just poke with that one normal and then cancel into your special. Or any any special that will hit. Because not all specials is going to hit like that. But, yeah. So, and I guess that's a pretty good tool. I think that's, I think that's really good when it comes to balancing because, a character like Catalina for max range, 
could harass you with her, her standing medium. Her standing medium and even standing light has very good range. And she pretty much outranges a lot of characters besides fairy like that. So, when it comes to stuff like that, you don't want to like get hit max range with that move right there and then get all the combo. Because that's going to be very annoying. Like right there. As you can see, I'm just harassing with pokes with my standing medium and stuff like that. And if I could auto combo into that, then that would be really, really big. But I really, I can't auto combo into that, so that's pretty good that I'm not able to do that. So that comes, that's, that makes the game more balanced when it comes to that. Now it takes a while to get used to, because not every character is the same. Because like I said, Lancelot, off of any hit, I can almost go into my auto combo block or, or block or hit. And with a character like Ron or Catalina, that wasn't the case. So, yeah, it takes a while to get used to. So, everybody's play style is going to be different. But, once you get used to it, you're going to be good. Um, So, as you see, that overhead is pretty good as well, too. Really, really good as well. Um, but, yeah. So, my impression so far of the characters I played... um. Ron is a little, it's kind of hard, um, because I believe he got Link Sona so forth, so I ain't spending much time on Ron, but he seems pretty good. Lancelot to me is very good. Um, Catalina is really, really good. Fairy is really, really good. So to me, right now, I think Fairy is the best character. Catalina, and I'm not, I wouldn't be able to tell who's better after that. Um, but maybe Ron is probably that. But Lancelot is probably the hardest to really learn. So, I don't know. And I ain't played Charlotte at all. So, but my opinion on the, at least the top two is Gron. No, not Gron. Catalina and Fairy. Fairy being one, Catalina being two. And yeah. So, there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much my pressure of this game. I think this game is a very, very good game. Um... It's very, very different as an anime anime fire, but it's very, very good. Hopefully, we're going to see a lot more characters in this game and a lot more variety. And, yeah, that's pretty much my impression of the game. Um, And hopefully, I was able to enjoy the game. Hopefully, I played the beta and y'all enjoyed the game. And if you did enjoy the game, let me know what y'all thought in the comment section below. If you didn't enjoy the game, you can let me know as well, so on and so forth. Are you waiting for this game to come out? Is this a must cop? Is it not a cop? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of the past content. Hit the notification bell to get alerted every time I drop a new vid for y'all. Also, you want to help support my channel any type of way at all, check the description box below to go do so. For my Mortal Kombat fans, I'm going to have a lot of videos for y'all this week. So stay tuned for that. But besides that, hope all you have a nice day. Peace. Can't shut my mouth to the smoke